Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Today I want to talk about Pushkin, verbs of motion, and the internet. Why? Because I want to introduce an outstanding teacher, a person who uses modern technology, who understands the psychology of the learner, and who is very creative. And uh, I've discovered her for my Russian learning, and therefore, for those of you who are learning Russian or either even interested in seeing different ways of using uh, technology, uh, I would like you, I very much suggest you go to the links that I'm going to put in the explanation here, the description of this video, and watch the videos that Anna has created for her class. She's a, an English teacher uh, in St. Petersburg at the uh, university there. And uh, just see how cleverly she uses uh, modern technology to put together very interesting videos about Russia. I happen to have chosen the one about Pushkin, but you'll see that there are others in her collection. Uh, and also a video she's made on verbs of motion, which is a very difficult aspect of Russian. And of course, I can access this. Here's this person in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, developing wonderful material for her class, and it's available to the world through the internet. Um, I'm not stuck with, say, some less capable teacher maybe at my local school. I can access teachers anywhere in the world through the internet. I think that's just spectacular. And if you look at, say, the video about Pushkin, you'll see that she repeats dates, which is very handy because dates are very difficult, I find, in many languages. A number of things are repeated. Uh, it's done with humor. Uh, it's done artistically with pleasant music in the background. Even if you aren't interested in Pushkin, I think you become interested in Pushkin. But again, not everyone's going to be interested in Pushkin. So you'll see that she has a variety of videos about Russia and Russian life, Russian history, and so forth. Similarly, in her approach to verbs of motion, you'll see that there's a, a, a minimal amount of explanation and a lot of repetition and a lot of um, assists in some of the visual presentations and so forth. Anyway, I think these are extremely well done, but I think the fact that, that the work of a person somewhere in the world, a teacher, uh, can suddenly be available to people all over the world is, is a wonderful example of the kind of educational environment we live in. So, uh, please enjoy these videos and um, thank you for listening. Bye for now.